Hello, uh, Black Eyed Steve here with Crazy Neighbor, and uh, we're going on a train trip. Uh, it's time to get back home for the holidays, and I'm third wheeling it here with uh, Crazy Neighbor and his lady friend. Uh, so it should be a good trip. It's about a day and a half long, maybe a little bit, 26 hours. It covers 800 miles. Uh, you sleep on the thing, there's meals, and there's a bar. So let's jump on a train uh, and see how this goes. This is not quite camping, but it's an adventure. You know what? Uh, so you've seen the videos? Yeah. Are you taking I got a video right now? Or are you? No. <laughs> Let the ladies go. Okay. Oh, pardon me. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, no, I let them know. But yeah, okay. I'll move yeah, it over. Yes. That's awesome. Take there you care. are, my friend. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, take care, guys. Thanks. You Enjoy too. Enjoy your trip. Thanks. Do you guys even help on the train today, or are you okay uh, with that? Or? I've, I've never been on a train before, so I really don't know how it works, but I'm sure somebody will be around to okay. show yeah, me what I should for be doing. Sure. Okay, take awesome. care, guys. <laughs> Thanks so much. of the employees here follow the channel so it was pretty cool to meet them. There's a nice little lounge here with uh, coffee and some snacks and stuff uh, so we can wait to board the train and they're kind of older trains but they should do the job. I think they were made in the 50s and they've been retrofitted so they're still hopefully pretty safe. Uh, they don't make them like that anymore. So, ready for this trip? Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I think mine was 210. 80, 100. No, that's a bit of a hike. 210. which is that one. This trip has been a bucket list thing for me. A uh, beautiful wife and I had planned to do this trip for years. This was our dream. So I'm doing it as a third wheel here with the crazy neighbor and his lady friend. And I'm hoping it'll be cathartic because I'm no longer putting things over for someday in the future. Uh, I'm taking care of things now because we've had a poignant example of what can happen if you don't live every day to the fullest and uh, you might not to get to do these things. And via Rail Canada, it is our pleasure to welcome you aboard train number two, the Canadian, en route to Toronto. While traveling on the Canadian, our crew is responsible for your safety and well-being. Unsafe or disrespectful behavior towards passengers or crew members will not be tolerated. There we go. Time to explore the dome car.
dinner gets served. This is um, unexpectedly, this is the least intrusive way I've ever had to film a video because everybody on this train has their cameras out and is filming something. <laughs> I um, I forgot to ask them how much a beer cost and they have my credit card, so we'll find out. Oh, yeah. Unless these signals mean something like tarot cards where it doesn't look like what it is. We're just running red lights like crazy here. Yeah, running more red lights all the time. I love a good tunnel. This is the bathroom. This is my mangled eye. And uh little toilet here. I'm not gonna film this part. see what the menu is because um, I just don't like super fancy things and uh, on this train so far I've heard there's lamb and salmon and uh, some vegetarian thing I just want to check things out so that I know what I'm up against then when I figure that out um, I think further on in economy class, there is a, uh, I don't even know what train car I'm in right now, but, uh, oh, there's the dining car, okay. They're still eating in there. But further up in economy class, there is like a little snack bar thing, which might be dinner if things are too weird here. Oh, sounds like they're stopping. Hold on. a severely long train to negotiate and I think we've come to a stop yeah we have <laughs> yeah. Um, oh boy what is this uh, oh. oh this is my place things have been all made up for me oh go ahead okay so yes the 
the dinner crowd is is rolling through. And yes, I've got um, a backpack up there uh, and my jacket. They were so kind to make this for me. Got a little window up there. <laughs> Look, I could totally hunker down in here. Does not get a lot better than this. Um, unless there was a little scenery out there. Um, the light switch is right there. All right. Right there. Yeah. That's all right. Okay. Got completely distracted from a job at hand. And a job at hand. Yep, I don't have another another companion upstairs. So, um, I did the bottom bunk. Uh, if it was a top bunk, it would look like that with no windows. The crazy neighbor and um, his lady friend are probably gonna get cozy on the bottom with the two of them. Um, hopefully not too cozy because it's just a piece of uh, fabric there. So anyway, moving on. Um, I'm gonna move through the train here. Uh, I haven't been further than this yet. Okay. Here's uh, here's the discrimination problem. See, I can hear everybody having fun in there, and it says economy class passengers only be on that point. And I'm like a fraction above economy class. So we're gonna see what what we're gonna have to eat tonight. <laughs> I think the food is a little too fancy. Rack of lamb. What do you think about salmon? Not that fish guy. Mm. Uh, maple Dijon chicken? Uh, I'll probably try that. It's the most appetizing thing that I can see. You haven't seen the vegetarian special yet, though. That doesn't sound very, that doesn't sound very appetizing to me. We've got a backup plan in case. We yeah. stop at midnight in another town and we could probably order a pizza. But, yeah, uh, let's just get an Uber to deliver to the train station. We're just too unsophisticated for um, lamb and <laughs> salmon and stuff like that. Like, I wish they had a burger or a steak on here. Anyway, that's our problem. Not there theirs. it is. <laughs> that's right. Uh, most people would actually enjoy this food. Yeah, well, they'd be uh, you know, over They'd the be top. thrilled. Yeah, yeah. thrilled. Unfortunately, the menu seemed to hit every single red food flag I have, um, ranging from maple to salmon to lamb to uh, chickpeas. Uh, so I've opted to try and wait to Kamloops. That's gonna be another three to four hours uh, if we get there on time. And there is a humble Domino's pizza um, that we can find our way to in the darkest hours of the night. Uh, it was at 30, 31, oh, complete. Train is severely delayed, and I'm kind of thinking the snow might have something to do with it. But uh, I'm going to hunker down here and update you guys as the trip goes on because. This is such a cool trip to do. Um, such a cool trip. No, my enemy. Uh, good sleep though. Um, really good sleep. Let's see if they're still serving breakfast. Uh, whatever that might be.
Nothing beats a good tunnel. Morning, Steve. Morning, Great Steve. Pulling into beautiful and scenic Jasper, uh, mild stomping grounds. I've I've been here quite a bit, uh, so we're going to get off for about 45 minutes, walk around a little bit, stretch our legs, and uh, we've asked the uh, the staff if we can get off sooner than Edmonton because uh, my acreage is west of Edmonton, and it would save us driving all the way back. And as beautiful as the train is, there's not much to see at night, anyways. So going to try to get off a little bit uh, a little bit sooner but it all depends on what the engineer says breaking jets <laughs> minutes make sure you have your tickets with you yeah thanks touristy place and it's quite cold Pretty and cool. I've got my land legs back now after being on that train so time to get the train legs back let's uh, go back inside and warm up this weather is ferocious you got a bunch of historic pictures of the construction of these stations Short and sweet stop, and uh, we're making progress again here. All right, my experience so far is print your boarding passes because you have to see them once in a while. And I've got three of us. I have to dig up the emails every time to show the boarding pass. So good thing my phone was charged. Otherwise, we'd be hitchhiking back from this point. But uh, ready for the rest of the trip. Um, uh, we've get to see some scenery it's going to turn to prairies here really quick uh, so after that pretty much the only scenery we're going to see is the bottom of a of a glass unless you have a really fancy cabin type thing there's not a lot of places to plug in any devices so if you're taking the train you have to spend some time in the bar car to charge things up or pop for one of the expensive uh, cabins um, I'm going to be doing that on the way back and I'll, I'll give a more in-depth kind of tour of the train and what it's all about. Uh, this I'm, I'm just kind of feeling it out because I've never been on one of these before and uh, I'll be able to do more of a more of a tour. This is the end. There's another car back there. It doesn't seem to do anything and there's no way to get to it. And it's not... Uh, I thought it might be uh, the baggage car but that's actually up at the front. So we got... Uh, coffee and hot water. Does that sound good to you? Uh, hot water works for the hot chocolate that's also <laughs> up there. <laughs> uh, or maybe the bar's open now too. So oh yeah, it is. Yeah, she's just a little bit busy right now. Okay. Close enough to doors and stuff. Yeah, bar's so open. yeah, as soon as the bar opens, I guess um, we'll get started. Yeah. Well, we got a call for lunch, so we're going to see what's for lunch. Goodbye, Jasper. Goodbye, Jasper. If you like salmon, take this train. Well, they brought us some uh, champagne, so cheers, crazy name. Chicken pot pie, and they can do a veggie burger. Veggie burger. Um, too bad they don't do a beef one. We are out of the mountains, and they are willing to drop us off at a spot that's very close to where the acreage is. So, awesome.
made it to scenic Edson. Uh, the next stop is Evansburg, uh, and that's where we will get my friend Dave, the fellow who's been looking after garbage and working on the acreage, to come by and fetch us, and we can go see garbage. Our train is slowing down, and I think I know what that means. Time to go see garbage. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Oh, it's cold out here. It is. Hey, <laughs> you should have seen that grocery store. So much for the <laughs> Get over here. All right. Cheers, Thank thanks. You, Dave. Oh. How you doing? Right. Well, we made it. I'm gonna wear the wig. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious.